What's up, everybody? This is Spike Punch. We are hip hop, and you're in the Great Debate Place. However, tonight we have a well. I keep on saying tonight, but today we have a um, smart, smart Alec. We have a um, special show tonight, man. Of course, and um, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Nothing but Nipsey. That's Nipsey. All about All Nipsey. Nipsey. All day. All about the hustle. Mm-hmm. First, yeah. though, let's do a little bit of business, on, of course, and, and then we get on back to the show. And now? Yes, yeah. sir. I'm sorry. To our sponsor. To our sponsor. Designonline.net, graphic designs, flies, brochures, minutes, cards, photos, web pages, and designs. Need to get Great. in contact with them. You can contact one of us directly or... You can contact him directly on Design Detail on Facebook. Also, don't forget the merch. Don't forget the merch. Don't hey, forget it. Before we get started, man, I want to address some shit real quick, man. Yeah, go ahead. Address that. I wore... Tell you got it on right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, Tell yeah them, but son. just on another day. Okay. I wore a Nipsey Hustle t-shirt. And I don't know, it was never spoken to me. But it was said that it was said, allegedly. And the motherfucker was like, disgusting niggas selling the t-shirts and they ain't making and making money off the shit. I bet you y'all ain't sending the nigga none of the money. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And the crazy shit is, I was thinking, actually, I was approached uh, today. Motherfucker asked me, yo, dude, you want to sell me one of let me get one of them Nipsey Hustle t-shirts. Mm-hmm. And I was like... Nah, I ain't really doing that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And it was a matter of principle. It ain't right or wrong if you make a Nipsey Hussle t-shirt and sell it. That ain't my call. Yeah. I was just saying, for me, I as a fan, yeah, as a fan, a real fan, yeah, yeah, I didn't do it to advertise it and say we sell a Nipsey shirt. Right. Let's cash in on the goddamn wave. That ain't it. Shit yeah. ain't even no fucking wave. Yeah. To right. cash in, it ain't even no money in it to do that. So this is a Personal fucking choice. I was like, right. man, I'm not fucking with that, right. man. Uh, I'm not touching that, man. Our Nipsey Hustle attire is for personal use only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we, yeah. do, and, we, and, we do it for the love for Nipsey Hustle and not, I gotta, not to make a profit. And I got to respect Fuma and Sean because they was the ones that put me on the Nipsey. So, as real fans, I know these niggas real fans. Like, it's a lot of motherfuckers that, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm one person. You know, I became a fan in 2018, but I knew he existed for a long time. I just really never paid attention to the music until they told me to check it out. You know what Shit, I mean? I've been rocking with Nipsey since the first nigga told me so, about Nipsey. I, I give them all, I have to give them all the respect in the world because mm. of the fact that um mm. they were real fans. And if anybody going to wear a shirt that's, that rep Nipsey, Nipsey it got to be Sean and Fool. Simple as that. Exactly. Yeah. Especially, gotta be. especially Sean. Like, especially I don't know. Yeah, Sean. I especially Sean. Especially Sean. That's my nigga Sean. I was going to say, Sean is the one that really, really, I knew about him too, but Sean is the one that really. Exactly. I'm my nigga Sean. Yeah, yeah, we know that. You know, know, and a lot of, and just, you know, the further the conversation, <clears throat> hey, get to the goddamn meat of it all, Sean. A lot of my, is it, the people say a lot of fucking shit. Like, I had another dude that was on Facebook talking about Nipsey, and some nigga went at him like, you don't even know that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And the dude response to it was so dope. And I think it affect and music can affect everybody like this, yeah. but he was like, I I didn't know the nigga, but I understood the nigga. Yeah. And yeah. it is part of what made that nigga great as an artist. Great music that is a part of your life. It tells a story that you can identify with. Right. You it give you a feeling. You, you know, I gave a <laughs> Shout out to my homegirl, Nikki Butler, man, if you watching. She she posted something that I thought was funny. She was like, niggas be like, all y'all niggas celebrating Nipsey Hussle, y'all don't even know him. You know what I'm saying? Her butter will, next time you post something about your grandma or your kid, I'm going to say fuck him because I don't know him. Wow. <laughs> right. Wow. Real shit. I thought that shit was so funny, Basically. but it's real. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like, 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 <laughs> we all got love for wow. artists. And Nipsey Hustle touched everybody in a different way. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter if you know him. We got love for the nigga. He passed away as a sad passing. It's sad. So what? And it's a lot different than 
other rappers that done got killed. It's a whole lot. Right. And I ain't saying it, I wish nothing on them. Right. I'm saying, it just uh, hit course, different. Yeah, it, it was It definitely different. hit different. It hit different. And the first people I thought about was y'all. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I tagged different. you and Sean. Yeah, yeah, you, you know did. what I'm saying? You did. Because I was Rock, like. Rock the first person that uh, informed me of it. Yeah, because I was like, yo, damn, I know. These and, niggas gonna be yeah, upset. And, and, group page, and, and, I was, and I was wishing, I was, I was so wishing it was a fucked up rumor. I was hoping it won't true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was with fool. Yeah, yeah. Steve was with us. Right. It was me, Steve, and Design. Uh, right. Design detail online. Got net. Mm. All us together, and uh, you know, when we heard it, I was like, Rock, I said, Rock, send me the joint. I was like, he said, Nick, nip and shot or whatever. And I was like, man, she gotta be some dumbass rumor. So we went looking, and then we seen it came up. Then right after that, they announced he was dead. You know what I mean? And that joint hit hard because uh, I'm a big fan of Nipsey Hustle, man. I've been I've been following this dude from the come up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's and, why and, I know, from the come up. From the come up. You know what I'm saying? So I've been preaching about Nipsey Hustle for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just glad he reached the heights that he reached. And this is gonna be and I was, the best year. And ever. I was looking forward to seeing I was looking forward to seeing what else he had to come. I was you know what I'm saying? It 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 it, it, it hurt me in a different way because of the music I got familiar with his music in twenty eighteen. But when I saw the news special on on sixty minutes about what he did for his community and open yeah. up the barber shop. Yeah, awesome. man, we this is gonna be a, a barbecue. This is gonna be right here. This is gonna be a barber shop. This is gonna be this. I was like, yo, he didn't even have to do that. He didn't have to do none of that. He didn't have to do none of that. He could have been like, you know what? I'm gonna take this money. I'm gonna go to the hills, yeah, Bel Air somewhere. I got somewhere. my Hollywood wife. I got my Hollywood wife. wife I'm, gone. I'm gonna take my kids and leave. He could have easily did it. Yeah, he could have did that, but he, he didn't because <clears throat> he want he want to teach his he want to teach his. Right, he want, he, he, and yeah. they said it's crazy. They said. He bought the block that he he stood and so and so he cracking on, and right. hustled on. Right. That's some deep shit, yo. That's that's, that's, that's what made me like wow. Like man, of who, all the niggas. Who I can't think of no nigga that kept it more real than that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And still got the respect from all the major great niggas. Yeah. All the he all of them. He all of them. Respect from the bottom to the top. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the underground niggas really? respected him. Back. The top niggas respected him. Jay Z definitely respected him. Right. It's all love with yeah. that dude, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Jay Z and Diddy. Yeah. Right. You, you Man, right. he, he got love from all spectrums. All spectrums. And this like, is when he was alive. Yeah. yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking yeah. about. You yeah. talking about underground cats like Show Nip love, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because he came from the underground circuit himself. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know. Man, I seen some um some um financial inspirational guy, big dude named Gary V. Big okay. time dude, man. And he he posts stuff about Nipsey. Like, Nipsey touched a lot of a people. A lot of people. People a lot of people in different spectrums of, of life respect Nipsey right. big time. Speaking of some other fuckery. And, and you know, and it really wasn't even fuckery. It was non-understanding. I went and looked, because I wanted to hear what Stephen A. Smith had to say about it. You know what I'm saying? He said something about Nipsey Hussle? Yeah, he did it on the show. He spoke on Nipsey Hussle. Oh, I ain't really see that show. Yeah, but he did it on his radio show, so oh. you know people called in. Oh, okay. And he was talking about Nipsey and what had happened and so on and so forth. And he had a caller to call in, a white dude, I gather. You know what I'm saying? And the white dude was like, I usually agree with you, Stephen A., like 99% of the time, but... I went and checked Nipsey's music out just based on all of the, the the media surrounding it, and I listened to it. And can you? I I hear you say he did life for the community, but do that really make him a good guy? What? The shit that he was hmm. doing now, even though you came from that lifestyle, and he spoke, he he made music about his lifestyle. And Stephen they, A. addressed that shit. Phenomenally, though, Shard. He say? didn't get mad at the nigga because right. the average emotional ass nigga right. would have took the opportunity to get mad and look like a fucking idiot. Uh -huh. He took the time to educate the nigga. He was like, first of all, your vantage point ain't that nigga vantage point. Yeah. Exactly. And a whole lot about your lifestyle don't even allow you to comprehend what niggas go through to get to where the fuck he got. Bro. Exactly. Not only that, to make it and stay, because you could have left. The whole grind is to get the fuck away was, from that right, shit. Right, right. And to come back and put yourself in harm's way every fucking day to make sure somebody life better paying restitution for all the shit I did when I was younger. Right. That Giving shit back. is fucking...